Hey guys, so I know you know that my tutorial um, this morning kind of bleeped out, but the only thing that I ended up doing was putting the purple um, eyeliner under my eye and like smudging it and then putting on false lashes. That's the only thing that I did. So this has now been on since 4 a.m. So 5, 6, 7... Eight, I don't know what time it is, but it's been on for at least four to five hours. Um, so, NYX has definitely um, switched up their formulas and their eyeshadows. So, to me, yes, I think it's good. Is it the best? No. Is it good? Yes. Is it good for the price? Yes. So, with that being said, I'm glad that it worked like it did i'm glad that it um was easy to blend um because if it wouldn't have been then i would have been like really upset because i figured i was doing something simple and it wasn't going to take me very long so but once i got in here and got to doing it it did take me more it, more a little bit more time than what i thought but not because of the formula or because of the palette but just because i was taking my time and I wasn't you know I was just singing dancing you know doing my thing so anyway um but I showed y'all in my one thing I showed you the nails they are acrylic nails that you just put on you can wear them clear or you can paint them it comes with glue I bought separate glue because I did not know it did not say I did not see where it said anything about glue but it does it comes with the pink gel kiss glue so um but when i put that on like you could see the glue on like i don't know so i ended up painting them i painted them a gel blue color i don't really want to dig in here to get it because my nails aren't fully dry but i did the step one gel wet and wild it is exactly the color that it shows as you can see um, and that was a dollar, a family dollar. I got that months ago and never used it. So, yeah, pretty good, I believe, anyway. I mean, look at that. Five dollars for the fingernails. You know, I just, I hate when I get something and I don't try it right then and there because you start forgetting where it came from, how much it was, or... You tend to just not use it at all because you're thinking it's going to be crappy or whatever. Well, whatever. But that's my problem. I don't try everything right then and there because I may already have it or already have on nails or what, whatever. Anyway, today I wanted to try to do my hair and put these in with a little twist. But I've been waiting for my nails to dry. So, yeah. And the eyeliner that I used is called Punk Purple. And it's the e.l.f. gel eyeliner. And it is literally like this color. Because at first I was going to put it right along the line. And you can tell the difference. I put it there and didn't put it along this one. But I ended up having to like smudge it in or wipe it as much as I could. Because it didn't apply right with their brush. And I didn't have time to grab one of my brushes. So I just wiped it off. And went on but I did not do it on this side so that's the difference that you can tell is that right here it's not that dark that you see around this one and that's because I did not put it on that eye but anyway other than that this is a good product I was weary because I've used um, elf eyeshadow and I did really well but with the elf primer the pink one for the poreless one I totally had a really bad reaction, allergic reaction to it. So I'm I'm very iffy when I buy new stuff because I am allergic to different medications and different things, lotions, soaps. So I'm very funny when it comes to trying new things. Um, but the next thing that I want to get for y'all and try out is it's called Enrage. Literally, N R A G E, Enrage. And they don't have very many colors, but they have pink, purple, teal, gray, red, and there might be like one other color. 
But those are the colors that they have. And I'm so, 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 so interested in the intense red. It's like, um, it comes out like a, what color am I thinking? Like a crin, a crimson, like this black crim, crimson color is what it reminds me of. But I just love it. This other girl used it and I just, I love it in her hair. And I don't love it in mine. No idea, but I want to get it. I want to try it. It was only $11. So as soon as I go to the store and see it, I'm grabbing it. So yeah, let's just, um, I don't know if they're dry. They're almost dry. So yeah, I think it's going to be fun and cool. So this morning, like I did not use this one. I'm sure there's plenty, plenty of looks I could do with that. Like numerous looks I could do with that. Um, but I just, I didn't use it this morning. And like, I can splotch that for y'all too. You know, we can do some splotches if that's what you want to do. But the one that I did use this morning was this one. The ultimate edit in the color ash. Um, crap. That one opens like like nothing, and this one is is not. Does not want to open, and I do not want to mess up my nails that I just did. So. Oh, there's a piece of hair in there I could try to blow out. But anyway, this is that. And the colors that I used was obviously the first color that I went in was this. And even though it looks like it to the camera, it doesn't. But um, right now looking at it, it's like a brownish, like a brownish shimmer, uh, brownish silverish shimmery color. And... That's exactly, it goes on like a very light goldish silver shimmery color. So I put that on first and then I went in with the purple and put that in my crease. Then I cut the crease with my Anastasia Beverly Hills and I put this blue color right here on the outer part of my lid, probably about that far. And then I took this nice bluish silverish it looks bluish silver like to y'all maybe in the camera but to me it looks like a like a silver color and i just put that right in the the corners you, there's not very much uh, you can't really tell put it that way um but those are the colors that i used in this palette um and there is other things that i could have done um i just thought like, I wanted to use the purple eyeliner, to be honest. So, that's why I picked um, to go with that, you know, color theme. And this is what I came up with. I mean, it's pretty. It's wearable. Um, I just, I don't know. I wish I would have done a more subtle look for today. But it doesn't matter. Like, to me, it's okay. And because I did a blue look yesterday, I didn't want to be like all blue because I did like the baby blue look yesterday. I'm anxious to try these like yellows and I don't know about the green though, but the yellows, yeah, I'm very anxious to see those and um, see what I can come up with with those. But yeah, um, so we could probably splotch these while I am waiting for um, my fingernails to finish drying and then we can hold on <laughs> and then we can um, do my hair I know we're 10 minutes in but I have one other of these and that is the NYX mini bright but since I have the big bright I'm not gonna pull out the little bright because there's no need to. So, 
my lovely tea. I love tea. Okay. So we'll start with this lovely NYX. And it's the ultimate, ultimate edit ash. The color theme is ash. And the name of it is always on the back. Again, these are the colors. And we will just go right into the swatching. Now, I have heard and seen that the swatches are not as good as actually using it. So, if you can see that, that is the first one. Then we're going to go into this purple and it, as you see, I'm just rubbing my finger around. And then I pull it towards me. So yeah, like you can see how it, how it works, okay? And it's still like a lot on my finger. Like that, that's crazy. Then we'll go into this gray color that I, ha I didn't even use. It's like a grayish like brownish color. You know, and these don't always, um, they don't always swatch really good all the time. So that was the first three. Let me wipe off my hands and we'll do the last three. Okay. Now, I will tell you this. It does say that some of them are pressed pigments. That does mean it can dye your finger, your finger. It will, it can dye. So wherever you put it, it can dye. And I'm getting ready to show you where you can see that at on the big one. On this one, of course, you probably could lift this up and it's gonna tell you. But let's get on with the splotches first and then I will show you. Okay, so we did the first three. That's these three. So if you hold them up to it, it's like, it's oddly because I did it like this. So those are the swatches of the first three. Okay. Let's go on with the next three. Okay. We're going to go on with this pretty blue, which is the blue that is on my eyelids. Nice pretty blue. This dark matte blue, which I did not use. I did not use this one or the brownish color one. I did not use those today. So you see the blue did not really splotch well, and it's, but it's like on my finger. But that's, that's not how they work on your eyes so don't always listen to or go by the splotches now I did I hear that some of them do better with a brush and some do better with your fingers obviously I used a brush for my eyes so yeah but these are the splotches or that ash palette it it's it is what it is. I mean, it's cute. The pigment is there. The pigment is definitely there. Um, and they are buildable. Like, if you want to build up the color, it's definitely there. You can build with these colors. And you can build to the color payoff that you want if you want something more. Now, I will show you. You see my finger? It's like, it's not even really showing you in this screen, but it is lightly, very lightly, very lightly stained, just hardly nothing. Okay, so that's that palette. Again, that was this palette right here, the Ash palette. Okay. 
Hold on one second. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay, guys. Um, yeah. Uh, I had to use the bathroom. So, I'm back now. And so, we reviewed the other one. This one is the NYX Ultimate. And this one is the Brights. So, as you see, it says Brights. Okay? So, this is where I'm going to show you. If you peel, I've already messed up my nails. Like, look at that. I messed up like three of them. So, and that was, I guess, pulling my pants down. I don't know. Um, but anyway, let me try to get into this real quick so that I can peel this up and show you what I'm talking about. All right, come on. It should not have to be this hard. Just. Good night. Come on. Okay. Ah! Now you know. I just broke it. I'm gonna have to. I might have to put it back on. Anyway, when you take it off, it looks like this. Okay, and there are stars under three of them. Okay. The stars mean and it's on two three and six two and three are pressed pigments okay so two three and six the one with the stars beside it are pressed pigments one two three so that means that those colors can stain and they can also, if you're very sensitive, they can irritate your eye. So what I can say and what others have said with, uh, when it comes to that is that you are going to want to just stay away from like you wouldn't want to put it near the inside of your eye. Okay, so that you could put on you know, as a transition color, as a crease color, but you're not going to want to put it, you know, close to the corner of your eye or underneath your eye. You're going to want to stay away from those. Unless if you don't have sensitive skin. Like, I normally don't have sensitive skin, but I have found that the LA Colors pressed pigments, I put them on my lower lash line, and it literally felt like I was on fire. So, I had a reaction to it. So just be careful guys. So yeah, that was on this palette. I don't know if it is on this one because I never lifted this one. This one doesn't have a little thing that says that it lifts. So let me just see real quick. Maybe, oh, okay, this one lifts too. Hold on guys. Okay, same thing guys, two stars, okay? Number two and number five have stars. So two and five are pressed pigments. So one, two, three, four, five. So the purple and the dark blue are both pressed pigments. I used the purple, but I used it in my crease. So I didn't use that dark blue. So there you go. If you didn't know that, and my ex does put the stuff on the back saying if it's pressed pigments or not. So we can go ahead and swatch these lovely colors down. And what I will do is instead of putting them on this arm, since we already have swatches on this arm, I will put them on this arm and I will start kind of up high. So I am going to start with the top row. This is a sparkly red um, a lot of these are mattes, like you can even see like the sparkle a little bit in there. So I'm going to start this like right here. Okay, so it's still a little on my finger, but you see like it did not swatch well. Okay, let's go into that bright pink that's next to it. Okay. 
so even though they look nice and they swatch kind of messed up they still um go on your face nicely like that didn't want to swatch at all i'm going to use my pinky for this little orange looking color because i have a feeling that there's just not like i could use my pinky on all of them okay so let's go in let me clean my fingers off i'm gonna have to clean my fingers off in between i can see this now but at least i can get so many of them done and then every four so every line i'll have to wipe my fingers real quick okay going in with the next line starting with this pretty 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 purple Then this lightish pinkish purple color. Then going in with this reddish pink color. Like, this is just crazy to me. Okay, that comes out like hot pink. And then this very light, 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 light pinkish purple. It's more like a light purple than it is a pink. Okay, so that one actually swatched pretty good, actually. Which is funny because the rest have been swatching pretty bad. Um, but again, they apply on your eyes very nice. So, um, and as we all know, swatches don't always tell us. We're going to go on with this next line, which is like most of the blues. Okay. We're going to start with this first one, which is like a bluish purple, I would say. And I don't always do the best swatches, so like, don't hold anything, you know against me you know just just because okay the next color is like this tealish color with a light bit of sparkle to it which is like what I was anxious to see all right now with my pinky we'll go into this very light light like baby blue color Okay. So, I like that color. That's actually like very pretty um, color. So, yeah, so far I like the colors that I am seeing. Like that one slightly because I keep, you know, because I'm using it and washing it. That one has slightly a little bit of stainage to that finger, like not extremely, just, just slightly. Okay, last row, which is greens and yellows, okay? We're gonna start right here with this lovely, lovely green, the only like deep green, like the only green green there is. Okay, so do y'all see that? Let's go into this putrid green. Well, I'm not gonna say putrid, I'm gonna say lime green. Cause that's what it is. It's a lime green, y'all. It's like a yellowish green. Then this dark yellow. And then into the light yellow. Okay, so that looks kinda like, that's like patchy on my finger. Can y'all see? So, I'm gonna do this one up here actually so that was like bare like that's like a orange yellow actually all right now we have the last one which i'm using my pinky is this very light like baby yellow i'm gonna just use this one up here like 
You can see it a little bit, but again, they build. So let me show you if I put more on top of it. They build. Okay, guys. So the color pay is there. The payoff is there. Um, they're very nice. And for the price, um, you can't beat it. Like, you're just not going to. Um, do I think this was a little bit, this, this palette was a little bit expensive? Yes, but it came from Target. So that's part of why it was $17. Um, I would not pay $17 for this anywhere else. Um, I believe this should be like $11.99, $12.99. But that's just what I think. At the, like, I don't know. $12.99 at the most. Um, Target is a little bit more expensive. Now, the, I want to make sure that I got it all before I say that. Hold on. Okay. So, like, my fingertips are just slightly off. Like, these are red and these are not. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, for these colors, I mean, look how bright those colors are, guys. This is some bright, bright colors. So yeah, I think that it's worth the money, especially these minis, because these are like seven bucks. So yeah, they're worth it. Definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. I mean, I know this is gonna cut off in four minutes and I know my hair is gonna take more than four minutes. So I'm just gonna stop this and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Like always, if you give me a thumbs down, let me know why, maybe it's something I can change. This may be for you or this may not be for you. Um, leave your comment below letting me know what was your favorite color and if there's anything else you want me to review. Thanks.